A larger bust than investigators thought. 19 men arrested in a handful of area counties in a sex sting. The sting, led by the Brown County Sheriff's Department, targeted online child predators. One of the men arrested, who was in court today, is a 40-year-old Shawano man training to be a school bus driver. Investigators telling Fox 11's Gabrielle Mays they caught him right away. Um, that was a quick one. He contacted us late in the evening, on Friday evening, and said I could be in Brown County in 10 minutes. Authorities say Sean Rash thought he was talking to a 15-year-old girl, but instead it was an undercover officer. At that point, we, we grabbed the cell phone immediately to make sure that this is undoubtedly the person that we've been communicating with on the phone. Rash has been charged with child enticement and use of a computer to facilitate a child sex crime. Johnson Bus Service has a contract with the Shano School District. The organization's vice president says Rash went on about 13 school bus ride-alongs with another driver. He's no longer with the company. In a statement from the Shano School District, the superintendent says, In working with the Johnson Bus Company, the district is certain they will do what is appropriate in this matter to keep all our students safe. Rash is one of six arrested in Brown County. It's part of what investigators are calling Operation Vanguard, which took place last Thursday through Saturday. During that operation, we talked with and chatted with well over 1,000 people. Overall, around 75 officers from 10 agencies made arrests in five counties. I think my impression is that I was very surprised that we got the numbers we did. Those meetings are similar to an Operation Fox 11 went on last year. Officials say this type of online activity is a growing problem in the area. The numbers are up, which is the most that we've had so far. The Brown County Sheriff's Office says this is the fourth sexting operation since 2012. In Bellevue, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 11 News. The judge set a $15,000 cash bond for Rash. He'll be back in court on April 9th.